All right, I'm betting big on our team. Welcome back, guys. Um, I'm going to do a little video for you right now. It's going to be a team death match um, in Grand Theft Auto V, which is something that I haven't done before. All my GTA content pretty much to this point has been live streamed. I'm in this lobby with a couple of my ice buddies. Because why not? I've got another character that's a guy, but I thought figured I'd make one a girl. So, I, I'm going to be playing with them. We're going to have a good time. Hopefully I'm going to beat them. I think I'm not on their team. So, hopefully I lay down the law, show them what it's really about. I'm only level 11, so I don't have all the best guns unlocked or anything. But I also just want to talk to you guys about some random stuff as well. Um, our, I, I want to just mention some stuff about the stream last night. Those of you guys that are watching this video are probably supporters of mine. Um, but I kind of wanted to have a little, a little piece of advice for fellow YouTubers. So, if you guys didn't catch my stream last night, it was very poor ratings because people were expecting some kind of magic answer to these lost characters. When I, what I was really doing was, you know, laying out, compiling all the information and laying it out for them. And so people thought that I was misrepresenting the video. I don't know. I don't think I was, but that's their call. Um, but that's not really what it's about. I, I honestly don't care. I feel good about the video. I think that I did exactly what I wanted to do with it, and there's not much else to be said. However, I wanted to kind of give that a piece of advice to the other YouTubers that when you get a video like that, don't even engage them. It's not even worth your time. You just want to keep on doing what you're doing, just enjoy your content, and people are always, especially the more views you get, then you're going to get more haters as well. That's just inevitable. So don't worry too much about it. Don't even acknowledge them most of the time. And just have fun with your content. That's my advice to you YouTubers. Anyways, let's see if we can get behind these guys and get a couple... It's probably not a shotgun range. Anyways, let's head over here to the left. I, I'm not sure quite how the spawns work in this game. Make sure to always be checking your corners. Use that right bumper to attach to cover. There we go, we're on a kill streak. Make sure to get the weapon switches down kind of in your head because there are a lot of weapons in this game. Switch between, have at least two weapons in your head. They are your long range and your short range weapons and get them ready in your head where you know, hey, this is the kind of the direction I need to push on the thumbstick to select that weapon because it will help you do it faster and in those tight situations. I really hate this visual effect when you're on a kill streak that it does. There's a guy. Oh, there's one right across the way. I'm toast. I brought myself out in the open and didn't see him in time. What else do I want to talk about? GTA Online. Um, it seems like more and more problems are getting fixed as we go along. That's the beauty of auto aim, auto -aim right there. I never even saw that guy. <laughs> um, that's another tip. Trust the auto aim in this game. If you're close enough to him for whichever weapon you're using, it just sucks right onto him. Watch this. I see a guy over here. Oh, he's invincible right now. He just sucks right on. You just take a couple shots. Oh, I think he's out of auto aim range now. Bummer. I almost got him. I see him here, though. Still running around. Maybe my teammate can pick him up. More guys over here. Let's go ahead and get behind some new cover. That's the other thing. Don't camp it out too hard. Uh... Camping in this game, like using cover, is great, and you should do it. Oh, he's toast. Oh, I'm toast. Somebody just submachine gunned me in one shot, as far as I could tell. Maybe it was more than that, but dang. I just got owned right there. Um, Use the right gun for the thing. Use your cover. And don't camp. Every time you get a kill, go ahead and move, because you are going to show up. They're, they're going to know where you're at. I see this guy would be close range to me. It's a close range gunfight. I think that's banned. Let's go ahead and blow him away with this shotgun here. I see this other guy is further away. I'm going to switch to my pistol. And see what I can do. Anybody? Oh, they're up top. Dang, my team's winning, barely. I did put down some good money on this match. Probably like, I don't know, 2,000, 2,500. I don't remember. So I want to win this. Bring home the gold for my team. See a guy over there. Hopefully he doesn't have eyes on me. Because this car is not giving me any cover. Oh my gosh, straight through that car. You saw there was two of them aiming on me. 
and I didn't have a chance, especially with this pistol. You gotta get some better weapons too. That's the other thing. Make why? Can't, let me in. Make sure your weapons are upgraded whenever you have the chance. And shotguns are better at a much longer range than you would expect. It's not Call of Duty ranges here. We're talking much further than oh. There we go. Got some health even. Switch to my other my more long range gun. I see you guys spawning way over there. But they are invincible for a little bit when they spawn. Don't take the shot unless you know you can get the kill. That's the other thing. Dang, I thought I could get that kill. I got four shots on target. But again, these pistols are are pretty weak compared to the submachine guns. We're gonna keep moving. 26-26. We barely are in the lead. Now 27-27. Some of their guys are on the, on the roof. I might go try to check that out, see if I can get up there, take some of them out. Um, to be honest with you, that's my guy. To be honest, I have no clue how to get to the roof on this map. I haven't played it enough. Alright, so I know this guy is going to be right around this corner. Switch to my shotgun. Bye. Alright, there's probably another one that knows where I'm at now. Oh boy. That was kind of a close call. Got him. That was a case where he knew he he probably wasn't going to be able to get that kill, so he shouldn't have fired. There I go again, getting picked off by... I don't know what. I'm not sure what picked off means. Is that a headshot? Is that a longer range gun? I'm not sure. But there's definitely guys on this roof, and I want to figure out how to get up there. Let's just grab this armor. I think it's better than the armor I have. If I have any armor, I don't. I'm about to get owned right here, though. Oh, get it. Get back. Go through there. Oh. Wow. I think he just was trying to mess around right there because he should have had that kill easily. Oh, this is a bad place. Sometimes I hate that. The cover mechanic will just drop you out in the open. Didn't get the objective. Another thing about TDM is it doesn't give you nearly as much cash and experience as I think it should. Like 600 for that game. I think I was towards the top of my team. Um, I should have made some good money on this one from the bets as well. Let's go ahead and look. 800 from the bets. If you feel confident about your skills, you should always bet. So I didn't do the best, 9 and 7. But we did bring home the win. That was a good game. Anyways... I hope you enjoyed it. This is just some ranting from me. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe if you did enjoy. Um, and follow me on Twitter and sub to me so that you know when I'm streaming. I really have had fun streaming, and I think you guys will enjoy it too. You have a good day. Hey, guys, I got to take off, um, but I will talk to you later. I got to go to class. Welcome back, guys.